Dan, Airbnb this week at its annual host convention released this new community compact, which is a new plan to cooperate with cities, share data with cities, remit taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is coming on the heels of a win for Airbnb in San Francisco yeah. last week. So why do you think they're changing their, their tune here a little bit? Well, I think it's a step in the right direction, and they've had some flack, and they're addressing it. But a skeptic would also say that it's a little bit of a PR play. I mean, they've got the nice name for it, and they also had some negative attention from the signs they put up in SF. Turned out those worked out, and they got the decision they wanted. But, you know, it's a controversial company. I mean, what's most interesting to me is to watch the evolution of Chesky. You wrote about it. And to see him become, you know, more of a designer type focused on those things, and now to have to suddenly worry about big picture concerns like taxes, like regulation, like safety. There was also, and speaking of evolution, I noticed in this community compact, they're referring to the company a little differently now. Uh, you know, they had this big relaunch where it's about belonging, but in the wording this week, it said that Airbnb is a people-to-people -people platform that was created during the Great Recession to help people use their home to generate supplemental income. Phil, this is a, a deliberate shift, I think. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely, and um, I'm, I, I have my own issues with Airbnb. I'll tell you offline. Uh, we, okay. had a, we had a drama in my building uh, because of an Airbnb guest, but um, I think all this shows that um, Airbnb is growing up and is maturing. And also, if they want to get to the next level, they can't have confrontations with the cities um, and the lawmakers in, in each jurisdiction. I mean, you, you're, you're going to end up seeing that with Uber, I think. I mean, you, you, can't be, you can't be a renegade massive company. You can only be a renegade small company. But speaking of drama, there was a, t a terrible story we learned about this week where a guest's father tragically died. And um, you know, it really brought this issue of trust and safety. In particular, who's responsible for uh, making sure that, that things are safe in the home? I mean, Dan, what's your take on this? Well, I think that story got a lot of attention, and it was interesting because it actually wasn't the first death that has happened in an Airbnb. But if you write it in a certain way, it blows up, and everyone's concerned. But, you know, they're facing the same problem that any of these sharing economy startups have to worry about. Uber has had a lot of controversial things happen. They've had rapes occur in Uber cars, and they have to worry about uh, customer safety. And, you know, it's becoming a major concern. But Airbnb is not the only one. There's a lot of eyes on them, but it's an industry-wide problem.